Hello everyone. Welcome to Bella's Crochet Gifts. I'm Bella. All right. So today I have a yarn haul. So um, for the past week, week and a bit, um, my mother-in-law has been in town and the other day uh, we went on a field trip to Frederick, Maryland and because so she does stained glass and i will put in a picture of uh one of the things she's done so pretty um and then uh so we went there and we did a whole bunch of shopping for her and then we were already there so we visited two yarn stores there one of them unfortunately only had animal fibers so we went in we asked and we turned around and left. <laughs> so the next store, we called them up and we're like, hey, you got anything without wool or animal fibers in it? And they're like, yes, we do. And we're like, perfect. We will be right there. <laughs> so that store was, it was called Magpie Fibers. And it was a really kind of swanky Mm, very, very neat place. <laughs> so I bought two skeins of this. So this is, I'm not sure if it's dyed in-house. I think it might be, but this is a uh, magpie. Um, let's see, it's Equinox Sport. So is Sport... Is Sport a two? I think it might be. I don't know. I'm not really good with the, the different um, names when it's like, it's like DK and above, I know. Stuff below, I don't know. <laughs> um, so this is 60% silk and 40% linen. It is 368 yards and it's 110 grams um i i think the name is velvet underground let's see oh it is hand dyed there um and it is hand wash and lay flat to dry but holy pretty I love it. Look how gorgeous this color is. Like I looked at I looked at the blues, but this one I was just like, mm, but I but I want that one. <laughs> so look how absolutely gorgeous these are. Isn't that so pretty? So you remember the universe, universe, yes. Universe yarn from Hobby. I was thinking of maybe pairing one of the, the purples with one of these or two of these. We'll see, we'll see. Um, I have to, I have to find the perfect pattern. I have really enjoyed the, the rectangular shawl slash um, scarves. So I might be on the hunt for another pattern like that. So I got these two. And then, well, like I say, it was very swanky. So it was a little pricey there. And which is why I only bought two skeins. <laughs> so then we went to my local uh, yarn shop, which is the Red Fox Yarns in Vienna, Virginia. And I found stuff. Yay! Okay. So I got two of these. And let me show you some of the variety of colors. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is an Ella Ray. Um, 
Marmel. Old English for marble. Cool. Um, this is 3.5 ounces, 273 yards. It is 58% cotton, 42% uh, acrylic. Let's see. It looks like a lightweight number three. Uh, looks like machine wash cold. Or, I don't know, what's 30 degrees? Maybe that's warm. I wash everything on cold anyway. <laughs> I probably wouldn't wash this in the washing machine anyway. This would be a hand wash. I, I'm, I'm fine with doing that. Um, let's see, suggested needle is a US 5 and crochet hook is an I. So 5.5. All right. Did I get everything? Ooh, it's made in Italy. How cool. Nice. So I got two of these. Yay. All right. Previously, I had looked at these yarns and I'm like, I want it, but I don't know, but I want it. <laughs> so I got it. So this is, um, it looks like Great Adirondack Yarn Company. And I can't see the top portion because there's their sticker over it. This is a fingering denim. And let's see what else we got. So it is organic cotton fingering, 100% organic cotton made in the USA. The color is denim and it is uh, 525 yards. Yeah, I'm not sure what that first thing says. Anyways, how pretty! It's so pretty and it feels pretty good. Mm. Okay, and then of course I had to buy Pima cotton. <laughs> so I bought two of these. This is more of the uh, Barocco Pima 100. Let's see what we got. Oh, my nose is itchy. It is a four weight, it is made in Peru. It is 3.5 ounces, 219 yards, 100% Pima cotton. Machine washing cold on delicate cycle and lay flat to dry. <gasps> Look how pretty it is. So this is more of like the indigo colorways that, that I just love. Oops, I got a fluff. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. So, that was my trip with my mother-in-law. We had such a good time. Oh, she got some gorgeous glass. Uh, some of it will probably be made, a little bit of it will be made into gifts for me. So, I will have to show you when it comes and it comes in but uh, anyways until then I have such yummy yarns to work with I'm very excited I don't know what I'm gonna make yet <laughs> all right I hope you have a wonderful day or night or whatever it is I hope it's wonderful <laughs>